Okay, I'm going to do a quick demonstration working with Legends in Arc Pro. So I've got a map set up with two vector data sets and a raster here. Um, I'm in layout and I'm going to use the insert to insert a legend. Hopefully it'll be nice and ugly and we can have lots to work with. So draw, oh it's extra ugly. So draw a space for it, um, you know, this dead spot. So one little trick, just in case you don't know this, you can activate the map frame and then use um, the C on the keyboard to get the pan tool activated and then just back out of there. Okay, so notice that you've got a legend um, item in your contents pane now and you still have the map frame data. That's gonna come in handy. So to edit these layer names, you can do that right here if you want by double left clicking slowly. And we can just call this a public road and it dynamically updates there. Um, you can also quick double left click on it to get into the properties. Um, and we can change this here, county boundaries. Wow, okay, so it, changes um, the font size to fit into the box that I've drawn and because I shortened that layer name it blew everything up. Let's um, move on and, and deal with the raster stuff next. So the rasters are a little bit different. If you want to edit these values you need to do that in the symbology. So there's, I'll, I'll show you that there's things you can do in the legend um, items in the contents pane and then there are other things you have to do in the symbology. So one thing we can do is stretch this out. Um, this is too crunched and these numbers are too close together. That's something you do up here. So you'd click on to activate the actual um, DEM portion of the legend and then go into the properties for the legend by right clicking. So you can see here that for that legend item, because I've highlighted the DEM over here, that's what we can play with. You can turn off the heading, for example, and get rid of value. Um, we can increase this patch. So right now the patch width is 24 and the height is 12, which doesn't look quite right. We can um, increase the height that way and spread it out. And then we can make it a little bit wider. Okay, then let's see here. Let's go back to the legend um, and let's go in and edit these values here. So um, same thing where you can slow left click twice and we can just put elevation in there and then right click to go into the symbology. The symbology is where we can change the labeling for these. So we might want to just change this to, if I can get my keyboard to cooperate here at all, um, minus two meters and we'll just change this one to a nice round. 500 meters. Um, those changes are dynamic here. So um, we've got patch issues with the symbols relative to the font size, but we don't need the font size to be that big. Um, that's the easiest way to control it is just to you know change your window size. Um, what else was I going to demonstrate? Okay, so I resized this a little bit to give us more room um, vertically because I want to put some space in between these. You can kind of um, fiddle around with it. Um, but so the element tab, if you can see this on the side, is also the properties for the legend, or you can go up to legend and right click to open the properties or right clicking on the legend itself. So the spacing between the items here is what you'd want to increase. So you could just jack that up to 30 and you can see it's spacing these out a little bit. I'll do it some more. So I've just increased it to 40 and now there's more space between here. Um, you can mess around with all these to see what they do. Um, space between the labels and descriptions, uh, layer names and the items below. Doesn't really do anything. Patches in the text. Ooh, that was nice. And then the title, we don't have a title. Okay, and then if you want to make these symbols a little bit wider, you can do that just selecting these two, uh, right-clicking, going into the properties. Those are the two vector layers. 
and under the patch width, you can make those a little bit wider so that they show up a little bit better. Okay, that's Legends in a Nutshell.